Hi everyone, it's week five and I'm back with another little look into this week's colors, red violet and split complementary colors, green and yellow. And if you take my hand, I'll walk with you to Georgia. Have you ever been in love? I'll be working with these supplies today, and I have them linked in the description box below for you. And though I know these lights are blind. I'm working on lightly gessoed pages, and I want to create a background that will hold up against the red violet. The trick will be to not mix the colors together, especially since I'll be using water to blend them onto the page. So here goes. And I don't know what those men see, but I see you right next to me. And if you take my hand, I'll walk with you to Georgia. And to help the colors move, but not erase those lines. I'm going to dip my brush into water and wipe it down between use. I'm also going to blot any excess water that pulls up on the pages. Have you ever seen the stars burn out into the dark and as they go say it was nice to know you. And I'm really happy that the colors are keeping separate, so I'm going to set the pastels by using a fixative. Of course, this moves some of the pastels, but it's okay, and I'll let this dry completely before going on to the next step. Now for more color and fun. So as you can see, I'm not paying attention to making pretty marks. I just want to get color down in a way that you can still see the greens and the yellows working together. It's all about messy scribbles and strokes. So have fun with this process. I don't know what those men see, but I see you right next to me. And if you take my hand, I'll walk with you to Georgia. And if you take my hand, I'll walk with you to Georgia. And if you take my hand, I'll walk with you to Georgia. Could have been a painter, could have studied law. Instead, you are my paintbrush, you're my curriculum. Could have been a sailor. Could have been an astronaut Instead I drive for miles just to get to where you are Now for the star of the show, the red violet. I'm going to use one of my favorite stencils. This is Modern Buds by Ray Missigman for Stencil Girl products. And gave you all the power You say she's a work of art I'm going to use a makeup sponge and I'm going to dip it into the deep violet and the fuchsia to get my version of red violet. I'm 
I'm really happy that my experiment worked. So now you can see how those messy green and yellow scribbles peek through that bold red violet. And while this is drying, I'm going to go through my ephemera and figure out how to finish this piece. I must have gone through dozens of images and text before deciding on this one. And what stands out in this piece, for me at least, are all those scribble marks. It reminds me of the way kids color and draw with abandonment. And that's why this little girl is the perfect image for these pages. It's from the Photo Booth Collection by Tim Holtz. And the script says, Watching the Branches. It holds no meaning other than I love the sentiment. I'm sorry. Well, thanks for watching me today. I hope you enjoyed and that it might inspire you to try these techniques in your own art journal. Until then, take care. <laughs>